Hello everyone. In today's content, I'm going to share with you how to prepare for a Lambda School Data Science program. So you've been accepted, you've done, you've gone through the interview process with Lambda School, you've gotten your acceptance into your data science program. And let's say you have a few weeks or even a few months before your official start date, before you, you start Lambda School. And you have finished the pre-course work also. I have, um, you know, some free time before you start Lambda School Data Science program. And you're wondering, um, what can I do to prepare for Lambda School start date? Start date? Like, what can I do to um, be prepared? What can I do to enhance my knowledge? What online courses can I take? What books can I read to self-prepare before you officially start your Lambda School? data science program now you might be thinking why would i want to prepare basically preparing just gives you a head start you know the first time you learn something it's kind of like new it's fresh it's a little bit weird it's kind of like different your brain is still your brain is still getting used to the new things you are learning but when you learn something the second time it's easier to comprehend it it's like you grasp it more like light bulbs start going off in your head it's like you understand everything in more depth second time you're learning it. So if you spend some time before you start your Lambda School Data Science program, and of course it's not, this is not mandatory, this is optional. If you spend some time before you start your Lambda School Data Science program to learn some things on your own first, it will make your life easier once you're in Lambda School because once you're in Lambda School, there's a chance you learn this exact same things again or something similar and it will be easier for you to grasp it, it will be easier for you to learn it once you're in Lambda School because you put in the time to do some preparation before and Now let's say you got accepted um, today and in two weeks or in like next week, one week later, you are starting your data science program and you really don't have time to prepare. You really don't, ha don't have time to like read books or take online courses or things like that to prepare for your data science program. But if you have a few weeks, um, free before you start lambda school if you have a few months it's actually a good idea for you to do some work background work to kind of get you ready for the data science program so in today's content i'll share with you things you can do to get ready for the data science program and let's dive in you can prepare for the data science program by learning how to code <laughs> um, so the Python we can you can learn how to code Python so why Python Python and R are the primary programming languages used in data science learning Python will not only set you up for success in data science but it will give you the ability to perform other programming tasks beyond data science Python is not used just for data science work, it is also used for web development, game, de game development, 3D application, building robots, and many other things. Python is a general purpose language, so it is an important language to learn. Not just for data science, but for other things too. There are a few ways to learn Python. You can go to udacity.com and they have a free Python tutorial course. You can go to codeacademy.com and they'll have their Python 3 online course and they also have their Python 2 online course. I personally took the Python 3 online course from Code Academy because I could write actual code while also learning the concepts of Python and they have different projects for you to work on to practice your Python skills. Now, Code Academy mostly focuses on learning Python you know, from a high level perspective and also um, learning how to code Python. Like, like anything you want to learn how to code in Python, you probably learn it from Code Academy. But um, you can also use a book to learn Python. Okay, so with the book, the book starts from the ground up. Basically, they teach you um, the behind the scene, scenes. Of Python, like what's happening behind the scenes. So the book starts off not it, the book does not start you off with coding Python, 
it just starts you off with the basics. So if you prefer that to learn that way, you can get a book called Python Data Science Handbook. And of course, the link to all of this will be in the description. Or you can just go to W3School to learn Python. The next thing you might consider studying is statistics. Statistics is at the foundation of data science. Having a good statistics background is essential to your success as a data scientist. Here are a few resources you can use to study statistics. Udacity has a free course called Statistics and it covers all the basics that you need to know. You can also check out Code Academy's courses on statistics. They have one called Statistics with Python and another called Statistics with R. You can also purchase a statistics textbook and start your education that way. Lambda School teaches you Python and statistics, but getting a head start on those subjects is never a bad idea. Something else you might consider learning is R. Lambda School actually does not teach R based on what I can see on their syllabus. R is mostly used by people in academia to program data science work, and R is also used in industry. But R is not as popular as Python, and R is mostly used for one thing only, which is data science work. R is not a general purpose programming language like Python, so think of R as a generalist, and Python as, no, think of R as the specialist and Python as the generalist. A few places where you can learn R includes the Code Academy course called Statistics with R. And you can also take a class on Udacity called Data Analysis and Visualization by Georgia Tech. And it, that also teaches R programming language as part of the course. And Udacity also has a course called um, Data Analysis with R. So you can take those online courses to kind of help you learn R. And of course, you can always go to MW3 school and learn R if you prefer to learn that way. The next thing you might want to consider learning to prepare, to, to prepare for Lambda school is to learn SQL. SQL, just like Python, is essential to your success as a developer and as a data scientist. SQL is how we store and manage data in a relational database. And we also have something called NoSQL, which is how we deal with data in a non-relational database. You use SQL in data science, in data engineering, in software development, and most importantly, it, it is easy to learn. There are different flavors of SQL, but that is a discussion for a different day. A few resources that you can use to learn SQL includes Code Academy SQL online course on their Analyze Data Skill Path. So Code Academy has Analyze Data Skill Path and basically focuses on teaching you SQL. After I finish my Python lesson with Code Academy, I enrolled in the Analyze Data skill path so I can learn SQL and also work on different projects in SQL. You can also learn SQL from W3School. You can take a course on Udacity called SQL for data analysis and obviously it teaches you SQL. And of course the link to all these things will be in the description. If you're watching on YouTube it will be in the description and if you're watching, if you're listening on podcasts it will also be in the description slash show notes. In addition to the different ways you can prepare for Lambda School, you can also um, learn anything else you feel is necessary to prepare. If you feel like your math skills is needs refreshing, you can take classes such as Linear Algebra Refresher course by Udacity, and you can take a, cl a, cr a class, but well, it's more of a specialization called Introduction to Discrete Mathematics by UC San Diego in Coursera. You can, bas you can basically search around on Code Academy, Coursera, Udacity, W3 School, and for different courses, different textbooks, and sort of like pick and choose what you want to learn depending on what you want to learn. 
since there are so many different options of what you could potentially learn in before you learn that school like since there are so many different options what like what do you choose how do you know what to pick you know do you learn programming do you learn math do you learn statistics like what do you learn my advice is for you to learn what and um, start with your weakest link you know so if you are really really good at math and math concepts are easy for you to understand then focus on programming take programming courses like python sql r and kind of um, build that foundation because programming is something you can only learn by repetition and by doing it over and over again and by working on project so start by learning programming now if you're really if you are already really good at programming then i'll say you take classes in statistics take classes in math and kind of use that to prepare for lambda school but um if you are not good at programming and you're not good at math um I'll say you start with program, you start by learning Python. Again, because Python is kind of like, you have to know Python for you to be a data scientist. You know, you can learn the math later, but if you're not good at math or programming, you can choose, I'll say start with programming, start by learning Python, and then move on to SQL, and then move on to other things. For me personally, uh, math concepts are easier for me to understand. Like if I learn math, it doesn't take me as long of a time to kind of grasp the concepts of it. So what I did is I started with programming because I know programming is one of those things that um, you can just learn it one time and be done with it. You have to continuously practice, you have to code over and over again, you have to work on different projects for you to build that muscle memory, for you to get good at it, you know, for you to be able to write code without having to look something up, you know, stuff like that. So I started I started out with prog uh, programming. I learned Python 3 from Code Academy. And then after I finished it, I moved on and I learned um, SQL. And once I finish SQL, my plan is to start learn learning R. Uh, just because uh, Code Academy doesn't really cover R. Based on the syllabus, you can look at the syllabus online. Based on the syllab and I'm going to leave a link to the syllabus in the description. Based on what the syllabus is, like you really can't <laughs> I don't think they teach R, so I want to learn R on my own. So when I'm having a conversation with somebody else, I'm not going to be I'm a complete novice when it comes to the subject of R. So that's basically it. I hope this kind of help you know what things you can do to prepare for your data science, your Lambda School data science program. And here is my final word of advice. Whatever, whatever it is that you choose to learn, make sure you stick to it. We as a human beings have a natural tendency to jump from course to course, textbook to textbook, material to material, this to this, you know, without actually learning anything. And by the time you're done jumping from course to course to course, you know, we we'll end up wasting a lot of time and we we'll end up um, not learning anything in depth. And we just learn the first few lessons, you know, and move on and try something else. So I know you are really excited and I know, I know you want to learn a lot of things and you want to learn like so many different things and you don't know where to start. Just pick one thing and start learning it and stick with it until you finish learning it. And once you've um, learned it um, all the way to the end, you've gained, you've gained some depth of knowledge in that course. Then you can move on and learn um, something else. Now this will give you a level of satisfaction. It will make you feel happier, I think so. And to give you a sense of accomplishment. And you actually learn something because if you jump from course to course to course, you won't actually learn anything. You just have like fragmented knowledge of everything. And that's not always a good thing. If you are listening to this on your podcast, be sure um, to Give this a rating and check out the YouTube version of this um, at youtube.com slash evidence and I have some interesting visuals. If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment in the section below. Just leave a comment letting me know like what are you doing to prepare for your Lambda School Data Science program. Thank you for watching and if you have any video ideas like I'm always on the lookout for like 
new ideas if you have like new video ideas let me also know in the comment section either on the podcast or on youtube thank you for watching thank you for listening and i will see you guys next time bye